Shall we real... talk about somebody who has left the Conservative fold and gone over to Labour? Mm. And that is the Tory defector, Natalie Elphinger. Now, this was quite a shock. Jaw-dropping. happened. <laughs> Jaw-dropping. What's particularly shocking is that she is not an MP on the left of uh, the Tory party. She makes me look liberal. <laughs> right, well, that's quite a thing to say. It's and a horrible thing to think <laughs> of. <laughs> she's, been, she's been accused of lobbying the Justice Secretary back in 2020 in order to interfere, allegedly, in her then-husband's criminal sex offences trial. Is this a massive PR headache for Sir Keir Starmer? When I heard she defected, I thought there must be some mistake. I thought, no, she can't possibly have defected to the Labour Party. She must have defected to Reform. the Reform Party, mm -hmm. which um, is much more of her views, which is where Nigel Farage's uh, politics are. And I've said definitely the Labour Party. I thought this will unravel within days because women in particular on the Labour benches will despise this because of the way... After her husband was convicted and sent to jail for two years for sex offences against three women, she attacked the victims. She at and then it transpires she um, tried to lobby judges before sentencing. So inappropriate that she also tried to lobby the Justice Secretary himself. She's Unbelievable Look, that Keir Starmer's welcomed this woman. She, You're welcome to have her, Kevin. She, well, you used to, you, you never complained about her when you had her. Know. Because you embraced it. Because you, you never did. You can go through the cuttings. Look, I think she's a Tory too far for Labour. I think Starmer's made a mistake. And just because somebody wants to come over doesn't mean you take them. Who next? Jacob Rees-Mogg? Nigel Farage? I, I can see... That. I said, is Nigel I can, next? I can see what the thinking is. And the thinking is, if you get somebody as right-wing and reactionary as her to change her view of Labour. I think Labour's now tough on defence. Labour has a better immigration policy. You can say to Suella Bravam or anyone who attacks you, hang on, she used to be like you, she's come round to us, you can now. What but do you I think? would, I well, would think can, all can, that pills... Can I just, into, can I just step no, in here? Just yeah. point, point is she's no. the MP for Dover, which yeah. is where the most of the migrants are coming in on of the course. beach, and she has been one they, of the most powerful champions of the Rwanda policy, Ed Balls, which what Labour do you will think ditch. The, uh, the idea behind her defection is in terms of positives for Sir Keir Starmer? Well, look, I, um, I think they kept this very tight. And I'm not sure Seems that they tight. thought through Six the full people. media implications of all of this. Right. And I'm not sure, you know, um, if they'd looked back uh, on the last four days before they'd started, they might have done things differently. Um, and they could have got her story out in a much better way. They could have dealt with some of the negatives. Uh, however, fundamentally, I think if you're Keir Starmer, and the MP for Dover Wants to is join willing to join your party to say the Sunak small boats policy is failing. But she's And she had voted it. against... It. Well, um, I think in the previous week, she had voted against the government on the Rwanda policy. Um, I think in the end, you think, well, you know, if she's willing to do that journey... Shh. And in, t in case of Nigel Farage, if Nigel Farage is willing to say, you know, I was wrong... I was wrong on this, I was wrong on that, I was wrong on the other, and I now think Keir Starmer is the right person to be Prime Minister of Britain. Would you... Keir Starmer pick uh, him as a candidate? No, he wouldn't pick him as a candidate, mm. but he would absolutely take his endorsement in those circumstances, because you'd think, you know, it blows out of the water how, my opponent. How much has she actually said she's wrong on so many things? She hasn't, has she? And it's, a, it's, not, it's not just Rwanda and its well, defence, it's her attacking trade unions and, and all those mass sackings of people. Called? Marcus Rashford, yes. when she took a very cheap shot at him really when nasty. he... She did subsequently apologise for that after he missed the penalty. When so his she did apologise. She did, and she's she voted against Rwanda policy. God, she and she's obviously going, now is, is horrified by what happened about her husband right. and the abuse you. which occurred, which I think is far right. more complex than any of us probably know. Somebody on the left, I look... Right, she's going to lose that seat. She's not going to, going well, to stand she's standing down. She is going to lose that seat. There's no way she's going to hold it. She she's not see. standing. She's not I know. standing. That's why she's not standing, because oh, she's going to lose the seat. She can see there's going to be a Labour government. Labour come in, oh, Labour will have jobs in quangos and so yeah. on, in housing her that's, area. That's her area. I'm sorry, it feels horribly, horribly cynical by her and cynical by Labour to accept her. Opportunism. Uh, it is. Yeah. Real it is. nasty so, opportunism. Does it when is the time in the last yeah. 40 yeah. years a political leader, Prime Minister or leader of the opposition, yeah. has said, I don't want a yeah. major defector Probably in the month never. of the election? But, uh, and but the I reason don't. is because, in the yeah. end, the power of the symbolism yeah. 
kind of overrides all of your hand wringing. And in the yeah. end, in the real politic of this, Keir yeah. Starmer thinks, mm. I'll take this. Yeah. Because what, uh, and he will think three days of this, which is a yeah. total mess. Yeah. In my view, they've completely screwed up. The yeah. media handling was terrible. Yeah. They hadn't thought it through. Yeah. They could have done it so much better. Fundamentally, you wouldn't say no bit, to the Tory MP. This feeds into what does Keir Starmer really stand well, it, for? That's a criticism that's made against yeah. him again and again. If he can take into his fold somebody like that, he says, what does he like, really like, stand he for? He says, I'm going to have integrity and trust in Doing politics. Things differently. Oh, it's going to be a change, fresh broom. These sleazy, horrible, sordid Tories, get them all out, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to rule properly. And then he takes a chance at an opportunist with a terrible, being. terrible record. And I believe, by the way, Robert Buckland, the Justice Secretary. I disagree with him on much mm. politically, I'm but sure. I do not believe he would make up stories, or the Chief Whip would make up stories no. about her, complaining about the quality of the pillow of her, her husband in prison. <laughs> or, you know, she got a one-day suspension for lobbying the judge on the House of Commons note paper. And she didn't try want the senior you know. judge to try in the case, either. <sighs> Um, it's all pretty She totally pretty rejects that characterisation yes, yes. of the meeting yes. with Sir Robert Buckland, who was Lord Chancellor and Justice Secretary mm -hmm. uh, at the time.